Who? Steve. Uh, Mr. Bob. I don't think anybody calls him Mr. Bob. Thanks, Mr. Bob. <clears throat> Excuse me. She's one of Canada's um, hottest young stars, nominated for a Juno this uh, year. And as I was mentioning earlier, um, she was raised in Ottawa, born and bred. But um, the world is her oyster now. Christina Marie, how are you? I'm hey. great. Christina Marie, um, I have to ask this again, which we did off air. Yeah. You're uh, the tender age of 20. Three now, yes. okay. So uh, this new album or this recent album that you have out here, yeah. the from the beginning, the concept of the idea of the album to when it finally was in this CD cover was how many years ago? You know, 23 years ago. It's just was <laughs> in me. You know, <laughs> it was like it's stirring up. Well, you know what? M me, me, it is because. This album really is a day in the life of Christina Maria. Yeah. So yeah, it is 23 years worth of like held up, you know. Pent up. Is yeah. there? Is there? Can I ask you? And yeah. I'll get loud when I say this. Is there anger on this album? Oh, definitely. Yeah. I mean, definitely. And that's something that I really truly wanted to, you know, put in the album. Again, a day in the life of Christina Maria. I'm a human being, and I just want people to connect with it. So yes, I've been in love. Yes, I've been really angry towards somebody, and yes, you know, I'm playful sometimes, so that's why I really think that this album is something that people can really, really connect to. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to make this kind of kind of jump here. Um, Celine Dion, <coughs> one of the most, and there's some connections. Yes. Celine Dion is one of the most famous singers of all time, and yes. we don't get to the Celine Dion connection. But she does not write her own stuff, and she's hugely successful. Right. That would be an understatement. Yes. Did you feel, and I guess you emulate her in a lot of ways, there's some, so many connections, oh, right? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. So... Unlike her, you write. Did you feel like, as a young singer, that you have to that you have to write in order to get credibility? I mean, you don't have to because there's a lot of really amazing, amazing artists out there. I mean, but in the same time, to me, I just really want to be hands on. Mm -hmm. A lot of artists just, you know, like the fact that they just, you know, they're given a song and they connect to it in great and they sing it so beautifully. So you're a control freak then? I am. I really am. <laughs> Even the songs that I didn't write in the album, yeah. I just really have to connect with 100% or else forget about okay, it. Okay, let me ask you this. If you got a song, there's a, how many, uh, 14 tracks, yes. right? Okay, so 11 of them yes, written, co-written by you. Okay, fine. So of those other, um, what's the math? Three. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. Did you go, oh, you got the song, you went, oh, that's okay, except, like, you're such a control person, you yes. have to change something? Yes, I was something? like, there was a line that I'm like, do you think that they can maybe change this word, this word? Like, yeah. you know, there's always going to be that. You know, like I said, it's, I'm such, like, a hands-on person. Yeah. But, I mean, sometimes it drove my manager, Vito, like, a little wild. He's like, come on. Just like, I'm like, no, 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 just change that one word. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so let's, the, the, the connection to Celine Dion, just really quickly. Is right my manager, Vito Luprano, right. who has signed Celine 20-something years ago mm -hmm. alongside with, you know, okay. her now manager. And, and in, in Paris, too, you have a following here in Canada, obviously, with the digital sales and all that yeah. stuff. And Juno nomination, which is huge for you, by the way. Congratulations Thank on that. You. Uh, but you have a following in France as you grow globally, I'm saying. Right. Um, was there anything particular that caused that fanship in, in France? Yes, well, the song co pilot that I co wrote with Christian Lennon back in LA, he, you know, he made me collaborate with Laza Morgan on it, and mm -hmm. it just did amazing here. And we just, you know, I'm, I'm French, so I really wanted to do something for like the whole Francophone community, yeah, yeah. you know? And Vito, you know, he has, he knows everybody, so he's like, I know the perfect person. To, to write, you know, to translate and to sing the song, and it was Corneille. And Corneille, I grew up, like, he's the usher mm -hmm. for the French people. So I grew up listening to this guy, and I'm like, oh, my God, like, I love him, you know? Say it again. And, oh, my God, I love him. <laughs> like, okay. And so he went on the track, and I, I mean, I'm so lucky that he agreed to it. And, you know, from there on, as soon as, like, it hit the radio stations in France, it just went, like, boom. People just... There is an expression. There's an expression that says there's nothing new under the sun, uh, and there's just permutations of stuff that happened before. Um, you have to put on a big show. The music that you do, you have to put on a big yes. show. Is that not intimidating, given given how many shows there are out there, and you see how huge they are when they're singers and dancers and all that stuff? When you put something together, that must be really tough. You know what? It's tough at the beginning when you're like, okay, not sure if people are gonna, you know how they're going to react to it, but as soon as you hit the stage anywhere, you know, you're just going to get that vibe from people. You feed off each other, and it's just such an amazing feeling that you kind of forget that whole intimidating, like, yeah. feeling. It's just so hype. Okay. Um, Juno Album of the Year nomination? Yes. Okay. Who's going to win it this year? Go ahead, say it. Look at uh, the camera. <laughs> you know what? I'm being realistic here. I'm up against <laughs> Justin Bieber, Carly Rae Jepsen, Nelly Furtado. Confidence, like, girl. Confidence. I you're mean, so I'm great. I'm confident. This album is my baby. I put my 
sweat. <laughs> like me and my man. 23 my years worth of sweat. All right. Yes. Christina Maria, it was such a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so and, much. And I've got my fingers crossed for you. Thanks. We'll be back in a second.